gosh, fun fact. It's been like almost two years since I've bought any new clothes. Mr. Tumnus is here. She's bought something, guys. I can't remember if I saw it on Instagram or TikTok first, but for some reason I saw it and then I went on Vinted and just like searched for the brand. No, with tags. It was on there. Guys, we are in, where are we? Port Bella Road. George is it. I've never been before, even though we've literally been in Lo London our entire lives. It's busy. George used to kind of work near here, so she's, she's not used to it being this busy. Um, but the tourists are out, bless them. We're gonna look at some vintage shops in way. And we're gonna be scouting the land today. I've heard there's a good one in Notting Hill. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to a few. Yeah, this could be my new hobby, guys, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's bought something, guys. <laughs> she spent her cash. Guys, I tried on loads of shorts in that shop. Uh, most of them didn't work, didn't fit. Like literally, you couldn't even, anyway. The sizing was off, um, but I did get a lovely pair of shorts. Yeah. Oh, that little daisy dress was cute, but it's one of those things I know I'd wear one time and then I feel like that's never, again. never again. And then the skirt, I don't know how to style a midi skirt. They just look, they're just not flattering on me. So um, we're gonna keep on looking. We just went to the Royal Trinity Hospice and there was that really nice orange little dress, but I've got a new rule. I'm only gonna buy stuff if I'm like, I need this. No, oh, this would look nice one day. I need to be wise with spending my money, so yeah. We're just gonna try and find somewhere for lunch now. <laughs> Mr. Tumnus is here. We're just walking past him. We went to, what was that place called? The diner. It wasn't the diner. Electric diner. Electric diner. <laughs> Mr. Tumnus. Um, because it was next to the electric cinema. It was nice, we got waffles. Eggs and bacon, lovely. Um, I asked them if they could take out the yolk from the egg and they couldn't do it, even though we were sat. It was fresh eggs. Yeah, so they were just, I don't know. But they were nice, but that put me off a bit. Now we're walking to Notting Hill. We're trying to find a um, nice, like, I want a Starbucks. I don't want a niche little coffee shop. I just want a normal Starbucks. <laughs> we have bought nothing else, but it's been a fun day. <laughs> We've done our bit. <laughs> um, the reason why I didn't actually tell you guys a bit of context. Basically, in a video you, I think I uploaded recently, um, when I said in a hotel, I one of the girls who was there was like someone I work with. She was telling me about her bougie little life and how she goes vintage shopping. She like sell, um, she like rents things out on by rotation as like a little side hustle. Um, and I thought this sounds fun. And I've been looking on vintage. I bought a couple of bits. Um, we need to go this way, by the way. Um, yeah, I've been walking, looking on vintage, buying a couple of bits, and I feel like this is a fun hobby to have. So go me. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the inspo for today. But I did manage to get a pair of shorts that I needed. Cause I've only got my festival shorts and they're just not, it's not really the vibe. Um, but yeah, we are now going home. Oh my gosh, fun fact. I think I've said this in a video before, but it's been like almost two years since I've bought any new clothes. The last time I bought clothes was, I think this, I think November or December, 2021. Yeah, um, it was in my last haul that I did. I'll put it up here. That is literally the last time I bought any clothes. And I've been on holiday a good few times, Dubai, Portugal, Copenhagen, Rome. And I've not bought any clothes for any of those holidays. I've just been re-wearing the same clothes. Um, I'm gonna be honest, it's not because I'm a sustainable queen, it's because I need to save money. And also in lockdown, I feel like I was doing hauls, buying loads of clothes, and then you wear them once and you're like, I don't actually like this, or you don't even wear them. I've still got them with the tags on, trying to sell them on Vinted. Um, so yeah, this is the first, bit of clothing I've bought. I have ordered two dresses of Vinted as well. 
they are stunning but anyway yeah i'm i'm trying to invest in like quality stuff because as i've said before i spoke to someone at work and i thought this sounds fun and i want to do it so so i went to pepper tree in portobello road also went to Martin hill also went to brick lane didn't get anything in brick lane so that's why i didn't film anything um but yeah bought these levi shorts and oh my gosh i love them 25 quid is that good don't know um listen a lot of these vintage shops are expensive anyway i also bought some other bits you know when you have like a gift voucher like if you've watched my mac vlog you'll know um oh my scissors i bought like a gift i had like a mac gift voucher for years um so that's why i finally had that makeover with my mum and i've had a john lewis one since like before lockdown and i finally spent it and i bought with the rest of it this double poly cotton duvet cover set duvet 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 um and it's just like this striped lovely i also bought books from amazon i think i still have a few on their way because i don't know if i actually mentioned it in my january video but every month i've got like a subject i want to like really focus on and buy books and listen to youtube videos and stuff and i've read all the books i bought in that january book um so yeah we've got some new books first up loveology also have the mingling of souls look what you've done the lies we believe and the truth that sets us free i think someone i follow on instagram posted that they were reading this and i thought that looks interesting the memoir by the creator of nike shoe dog demolishing strongholds effective strategies for spiritual warfare pulling down strongholds also i had a voucher from bashka um from before lockdown and i finally spent that and i bought i can't even remember what i got just remembered i bought shorts <laughs> anyway uh but these are black shorts that's good oh and a belt you can't go wrong with a black belt can ya yes that was a quick little interlude interlude i think that's the word of um me buying some ordering some books and some bits from Bashka and john lewis um so yeah now let's hopefully this video doesn't end here and we go on to me charity shopping but you know more than i do at this moment <laughs> if you watched is this camera doing what it needs to be doing if you watched last week's video you'll recognize this because I literally, I'm editing my YouTube videos and um, last week's and this week's, I didn't end them. So, um, guys, I'm going to be honest. So I loved the charity shop haul thing. That was about two months ago. Mm, bit of a stretch. A month ago. I mean, it was in July. It's now September. But anyway, end of July. And I was meant to be going back to a charity shop. But I thought, do you know what? I'm forcing it. This isn't natural. I'll literally be doing this for the video. So instead, I thought I'd just show you guys what I bought at Vinted listen i'm a vintage gal i can't remember if i've said it in this video or not first up you're gonna see this in next week's video i might just put a pic actually um this dress stunning if i do say so myself it's from a brand called leau and it's like a ruffle mini black dress gorgeous i can't remember if i saw it on instagram or tiktok first but for some reason i saw it and then i went on vinted and just like searched for the brand no with tags it was on there stunning um and i actually saw this influencer i'll put the tiktok in the description that wore this dress um and i just love the way she accessorized it so i thought i'm gonna be copying this outfit okay the second thing i bought from vinted was <laughs> again i caught i think the same girl on tiktok was wearing this dress and i thought let me see if this is on vinted <laughs> and it was it's from the h&m mulga mulla mulga whatever you guys know that brand and it was on vintage but it was slightly discounted because it didn't have the glove i thought i don't even want the glove um so another really good find on vintage okay i didn't actually get this on vintage but i'm gonna insert a picture here of grace foley i love grace and grace the youtubers she wore this outfit and i thought that is so cute then it was my birthday coming up and i thought i want to wear something smart and sophisticated again you're going to see in next week's video so i bought this i bought this cute cider skirt and then i went on pretty little thing and bought this um crop top but square neck one another thing i bought on vintage was this nike sports bra lovely i'm pretty sure it was a fiver on vintage and again new with the tag honestly loving vintage is so underrated and then the final thing so 
you know what? I'm using vintage as when I see any outfit I like, I just try and find it on vintage and manage to find it. There's this gorgeous picture of Carrie Bradshaw. If you've seen that Sex and City episode, you'll know. Stunning with the sunglasses and the heels. Gorgeous. Um, and kind of found this dress because I think Grace the other grace grace shadrach i think her name is from grace and grace i feel like she wore it and she tagged zara on insta and i thought let me see on vintage did take me a while but i found it stunning and it's my size again with the label on this is why i love vintage because you can get stuff you really like that is no with the tag still on and it's like way cheaper than the actual price so go vintage and yeah this cute little dress i haven't actually tried it on yet but I'm buzzing. Um, so yeah, they are all the bits I got on Vinted. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Vinted pretty little thing cider <laughs> charity shop haul video. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed it. I'm enjoying shopping again. Get on Vinted. It's like a little hobby at this point. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I love y'all, but I ain't saying here. Bye.